Hey yo, what is up guys, Akash here back with another video and today we'll be learning about the people power network which is helium network. So we've been hearing a lot about helium network these days. We hear a lot about people mining cryptocurrency of the helium network. We hear about a lot of companies using the helium network and essentially uh, using the helium network to transfer data just like you would use any other cell phone or ISP to transfer data to the internet. That is the helium network. So the helium network as we see is a people power network. There are some main components like mining, staking or using the network. This is what we'll be looking at today. What helium network is, how can it be useful for you if you want to mine cryptocurrency or use the network, if you're an electronics enthusiast or if you're an investor, how does this help you out? So if this interests you, stay tuned to this video and subscribe to my channel for more information like this. I order all my PCBs from jlcpcb.com. They offer 10 PCBs for $2 only. They also offer quick turnaround time and 24 hour production period. To design a PCB, you can use easy EDA and then generate Gerber files for your project. Now upload the Gerber files on jlcpcb and get your PCB manufactured for cheap. They are currently also offering discounts on shipping. So the Helium network is just like any other a uh, wireless network like uh, Wi-Fi or a 4G, 5G network. So Helium is a company who has an initiative wherein a wireless network based on LoRa is set up. Now LoRa is a wireless technology which gives a long range of around uh, from starting from a few kilometers uh, to up to 300 kilometers. So this is a range that LoRa as a wireless technology can provide just like your Wi-Fi uh, LoRa is wireless although there are some limitations to LoRa if you want to understand in detail what LoRa is I've made a introduction video over here do check that out from the I button from this top right so essentially this uh, Helium network or the entire network works on the principle or works with the wireless technology of LoRa. With this technology, what it is able to achieve is if if there's a city, let's say this one, which is uh, very big. So with least number of hotspots, so we need to learn about a word hotspot or a gateway or a miner. So all these three terms are interchangeably used for what we call a helium miner. So this is the helium miner or the helium hotspot. Uh, so as you might guessed it, uh, this is what is responsible for mining the cryptocurrency. For helium, the cryptocurrency is HNT or helium coin or helium token. The HNT price right now at the time of recording this video is around $22. So one coin costs this much. The price has been growing since a long time. Uh, now, what the Helium network as a backbone consists of is hotspots, gateways or miners. These are devices which people like you and me will place in their homes and uh, you just need to plug it in uh, in a power socket, plug ethernet cable to the hotspot or gateway and you're good to go. You're already starting to mine HNT. Now there are various network related uh, factors that are involved in how much mining reward you will generate. So for example, there's this case one where there's the city and there are like six miners pretty close by and you're placing your miner in a close proximity versus a city which only has two miners and you're placing uh, one miner. So essentially a miner or a hotspot is responsible for connecting your devices to your network. So just like your Wi-Fi router, a Helium hotspot is a LoRa based router which connects your LoRa based devices or LoRa based nodes which we will learn about later in this video to the internet using these LoRa hotspots. Now to set this network up just like your mobile towers. In case of mobile towers, the towers are being sponsored by the companies or by your network providers but the network is owned by a company. This is where Helium says that the network is owned by the public or the people who set up these hotspots. 
so it's a kind of a self initiative you you purchase the hardware which is this helium hotspot or a helium miner or a helium gateway and you place it at your houses at your shops anywhere where you can place your miners at and the incentive for placing that hotspot and to provide network coverage in a particular area as an incentive you receive the hnt or the helium coin this is called proof of coverage mining or poc mining so any cryptocurrency needs a proof uh, for something to reward you with over here we get a proof of coverage so when you provide coverage in a particular area so for example when you set up this hotspot at your house so you will cover a radius of let's say anywhere from uh, 100 meters to a uh, few a couple of 100 kilometers so you're providing network area coverage the network is helium right now and you're providing coverage in this particular area and this is what you get incentivized for the broader the area that you can cover the more the incentives there's an entire bible behind how you will get rewarded uh, based on your positioning and things like that which is governed or which is noted in hip or helium improvement protocol whatever however the helium network works everything is governed by the hip there are different versions starting from 1 till 30 and hip 17 is the version where you understand how you get rewarded when you place a miner so let's go to mine over here quickly so as we just saw we'll be mining cryptocurrency with radio the crypto is here hnt and the radio is the lora wan or lora there are some uh, different uh, popular helium hotspots available the rack wireless the bobcat nebra and uh, synchrobit so these are cryptocurrency miners there's this network map available wherein if you zoom into a particular place you can see that there are hotspots there um so yeah these hotspots are lora wan compatible once you're placing a miner and you're building a network coverage for the people's network then you earn hnt so there are different uh, caveats over in here which we can cover in a later video but uh, essentially because hnt is a cryptocurrency as the network grows the value grows as more investors come into the helium or space the value of the hnt coin grows so for example in this particular area there are three hotspots that are set up and there's the the fourth one is let's say a a, a device that wants to use the network so just like your mobile phone uses the cell phone internet provider uh, network similarly a uh, a device which could be a sensor which could be a gps tracker anything like that could work on lora and could uh, connect to these lora wan hotspots so essentially you would not be needing any internet chip in your device so ex for example if you make a gps tracker and uh, you don't want to connect it directly to the internet using wifi or using mobile internet you just need to put in lora chip program it with the helium software and you will be able to access the internet on that device using these hotspots and that is also when you gain rewards or you get hnt uh, in return so that is the network data transfer 35% of your earnings will come from there so that is a brief about how you can mine cryptocurrency with helium uh, there's another option which is called stake so staking helium is just like just like staking some cash uh, in your locker safely so in this particular program wherein you become a validator the first program you were a miner when you were mining hnt when you're becoming a validator you need to stake hnt that means you need to store some particular amount of hnt let's say 1000 hnt at your wallet and that is what helps the network to be stable and the network to be secure and uh, that is also what you get rewarded uh, for you can simply run a validator so it takes 10000 hnt uh, as a stake or a deposit to run a validator uh node software uh, on your uh, device so this staking part of helium is something that's gaining traction but which is not really popular right now but the third part or the main usp of this network is using the network so ultimately everything that we saw till now 
was about building the network but the network is built for the use and the use is what electronic geeks like us are most excited about so there are many companies right now that are using the helium network but this is essentially a very cheap uh, network because it's a people's network it's not owned by one company so all the hotspots are individually owned so uh, so as we see there are two to three main usps of the network one is the massive coverage so right now they helium claims that they are the largest public lorawan network in the us and in the europe a competitor company to helium i would say closest to helium is the things network we have done a couple of videos about the things network do check them out from the i button from the top right over here as well so yes uh, they provide a massive coverage which means that uh, you'll always be covered by a network you never will be disconnected by the network there's miles of range because as we know that helium works on the lorawan technology lorawan gives you a range of 200 kilometers maybe more than that if you have a good hotspot and then finally it's very affordable you're paying 1 by 1000 of a cent for sending one packet like a message with a data so it's it's really interesting how this is working out so in case you want to start using the network you're not into really mining and you're not into earning hnt but you're more into uh, using the network that has been set up by the other people in return of rewards you can do many things so you need to make a lorawan compatible sensor there's a uh, there's a starter kit that comes from rack wireless which helps you do this i've done a video on this as well do check that out from the top right over here once you make that hardware or the device that can be connected to the lorawan uh, frequency or the lorawan band then you need to connect the device and program the device accordingly to be connected to the helium network so you essentially on board and manage the devices on the helium console so helium console is a powerful tool which i show in the video and then once you have that data that your lorawan device that we made in the step 1 once we have that data on the server we can do anything we, with all the fancy uh, data manipulation and processing techniques that we have now you can do many things with that data so that is how you uh, basically go about helium so these are the three aspects that is mining staking and using the network which are the three pillars on which the helium network is uh, run so it's a win win situation for everyone if you're a miner you set up a hotspot you get rewarded a cryptocurrency for it and one because you're setting up the hotspot you're essentially adding to the coverage of the network if you're a validator when, when you're staking Uh, hnt then essentially uh, you get you're getting rewarded to stake hnt and because you're staking hnt with yourself you're making the network stable so that's the role of a validator and finally if you're someone who's using the network you pay a really small fee which gets transferred to the network and uh, in return for paying that small fee you're able you get internet access without even setting up wifi or 4g or lte modules on your device and this is a long range thing again so i hope you get the gist of how helium works helium is also now getting into uh, 5g so they are partnering with freedom fi and they're they're doing something in the 5g domain so in case you're interested in this or the other things that we spoke about in the video i'll mention all the relevant links in the video description down below this was kind of a overview video of the network if we were to understand the entire network there's a lot of it but i've made some uh, videos there's this playlist that i'll link in the description box below and on the top right i button as well but i hope you now understand what is the helium network and how is it helpful for you as a miner validator or as a end user thanks for watching subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now also hit the bell icon to stay notified this is our first signing off